Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the Lone Coconut Toy Con New Jersey exclusive Plunderlings Drench Abyss. Purple. Oh, I love purple. Hello there. Welcome back to Hedgehog Action. I am, of course, Hedgehog Action, a.k.a. JFD, a.k.a. Jonathan, a.k.a. the man in the million dollar suit. And guys, we made it. It's it's Legion's Con week. Legion's Con is at the end of this week. So get ready for an avalanche from all kinds of legions and legions adjacent uh, topics from a whole bunch of different sources. And today is no exception because we are taking a look at the Lone Coconut, Toy Con New Jersey exclusive, Plunderlings Drench Abyss. Plunderlings yet again will be at Legions Con 2022 this weekend, November 5th and 6th. Uh, got a chance to, to meet those guys a couple of times, uh, see Plunderlings at both uh, the New York Comic Cons the last couple of years and Toy Con New Jersey uh, just a couple of weeks ago. First of all, a couple of quick words about Toy Con New Jersey. I do consider that basically my uh, hometown con. I've been uh, going to that con for a couple of years now, or a few years, going back to when it used to be in Parsippany. The last couple of years, it's been at the Wayne Police Athletic League, the PAL in Wayne, New Jersey. It's a great show with a ton of vendors. Uh, NECA is there a lot. Uh, Four Horsemen has been there, have been there a bunch of times. And Toy Con New Jersey has been sort of linked to Legion's Con the last couple of years until uh, this year. It's put on by Joe Vettiri and Vettiri Productions. Mythic Legion's fans will also know him as Lord of the Terrace. Uh, but uh, this past, Toy Con New Jersey, the, uh, usually there's two a year, and in the fall edition for 2022, uh, I had the, the pleasure and the honor to, first for the first time ever, be a vendor uh, at a con. So that was cool, having my own table, selling some things, uh, talking to a bunch of people, taking pictures with people. So that was really cool, talking to a few people. I saw uh, Gregorius uh, McTavish came by to say hi. Uh, Jeremy Gerard was cool enough to stop by and, and say hello. Uh, love seeing everybody there at Toy Con New Jersey. But backing up a second, uh, Plunderlings. What are Plunderlings? Most of you, if not everybody that's watching this video, is already very familiar with Plunderlings. But this is a very cool, very fun action figure line. Uh, basically, little highly articulated, fun little goblin guys that started out as a Kickstarter. Now, I personally did not get in on the initial Kickstarter. Uh, I did hear about it uh, probably throughout 2020, starting in early 2020, I think. Uh, but I did not get in on, on the initial Kickstarter. And even when I was hearing some good reports about it, I was like, oh, you know, I don't need to get everything. Uh, I'm okay not getting in on this. But once the Plunderlings started to hit, um, that was, I think, very late 2020. And I started seeing the reviews from all the toy tubers across the land. Uh, the FOMO started hitting me hard. So I guess it was probably early-ish 2021. I did the thing where you go on eBay and you pay too much. And I did pick myself up a Plunderlings Kickstarter Drench Bubbler. He's the blue translucent guy. And I absolutely loved him. Uh, he's just an awesome, fun little figure. But... I said to myself, that's probably all I need, just one little plunderling to kind of sprinkle throughout the display throughout the, the year. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. Plunderlings has gotten me a few more times. Uh, for example, when the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive uh, translucent figures, the Drench Maru and Drench Coral hit, had to grab those guys too. They're the uh, more of like, a, I guess, a translucent turquoise and a translucent pink. They look very cool, so I have those. Added those to the collection. Also picked up the Nomads Tough and Goyle. There was someone in the Mythic Legion's Cabal who was looking to, to shed a few plunderlings, so I was more than happy to, to grab those. And my, my kids have kind of taken over those two. Uh, lastly, uh, Plunderlings uh, also is doing a new Kickstarter, or it already funded, uh, the Plunderlongs and the Plunder Strongs, where instead of the smaller, like, three-inch-ish plunderlings, now uh, there is also the Plunder Longs, which are a taller version, and then the Plunder Strongs, which are like these bigger, more massive plunderling-related creatures. I hopped in, I got a bunch of those. They even have like a green 
like a Kraken version, uh, one that I, I can't wait to check those out. And as I mentioned before, I've run into Plunderlings a couple of times, uh, New York Comic Con 2021, checked out their display and they had some uh, prototypes and things like that there. Then just this past year, New York Comic Con 2022, checked out the Plunderlings booth and Alejandro, who I believe is Ricky's brother, was cool enough to chill for a minute, talk to us about the Plunder Longs and the Plunder Strongs, and was even cool enough to give us a quick look at these brand new Kickstarter prototypes. All right, here we are, Hedgehog, Hedgehog Action, New York Comic Con 2022 at the Plunder Links booth, and look what we're taking a look at. Prototypes of the Plunder Long and the Plunder Strong. How super cool, man. These were recently funded on Kickstarter, I believe back in March. We have the prototypes underway and we're doing everything we can there might be some delays, but we want them to come out as great as possible. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for giving us a quick look. No but after saying all that, after all that ado, what about the ToyCon New Jersey exclusive Plunderlings Drench Abyss? Is he as cool as he looks in that picture? Let's find out. Yep, so here we are with the Lone Coconut Plunderlings ToyCon New Jersey exclusive drench abyss uh this of course again is the exclusive plunderlings figure that was available at toy con new jersey just a few weeks ago limited edition only 1000 pieces very cool purple translucent translucent easy for me, me to say plunderlings figure uh, not too many of these got made uh, however I do have some good news that if you missed ToyCon New Jersey uh, but are able to go to Legion's Con, there may be some additional uh, stock of this guy at Legion's Con coming up the weekend of November 4th through uh, November 4th, 5th and 6th. Excuse me. All right, so we see here first, first we have the Plunderlings box with the standard uh, Plunderlings mouth on the front. It's made to look like a, a wooden crate, you know, which is reminiscent of a, what was that? The Tales from the Dark Side movie, I guess. Uh, and some cool artwork on the back. You can see Drench Abyss, his little goblin head peeking out of the water. Uh, and I believe, yes, uh, these Plunderlings boxes too, if, if you're not familiar with them, they have little slits here in the side. And there's typically little cardboard ears that you can put on either side, which uh, look very fun. But... And you can see them in the, in the bottom there. But all right, let's get the Plunderlings Drench Abyss out of his box here and hang out with him. All right, so now we've got the Drench Abyss Plunderling out of the box. And if you have had any experience with the Plunderlings before this guy, you have a general idea of what to expect as far as size goes, articulation, and everything else. Uh, Obviously, one of the coolest things and the thing that's different about this guy is the fact that he's purple. He is another translucent Plunderlings figure and looks just absolutely delicious. But what I would say about these guys is, number one, they move around really well, right? They have, they're articulated all over the place for such a small figure, you know, a little over three inches, probably tall. Uh, so they move around really well. You can get so much expression out of these guys. You know, I like to you know, cock the head to the side and... So he's standing there giving you a little wave, you know? Hey, guys. What's happening? Um, but one of the coolest things about them is just the, 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 play, the, the, the playability and the ease of use here. I mean, like, they come with these big, giant feet. <laughs> so you just set them down, and that's where they're going to stay, you know? I should note that uh, because this is one of the drench plunderlings, uh, they apparently are uh, water-based plunderlings. Uh, and you can tell some of the differences here that are key are, number one, the ears are a little bit more, you know, reptilian or even dragon-like. The uh, feet are bigger webbed feet. I can pull uh, one of the other guys over here. You can see that, you know, on the regular plunderlings, they just have like these little troll feet. And the ears uh, are, are definitely different than these you know, sort of more webbed looking ears. And the first head that he comes with is just sort of like a little smirking head, but he does have two others. First in the package is this 
uh, head with a slightly ajar mouth so you can see his teeth, um, maybe like a laughing face or something like that. Highly expressive, very cool. And then next up, we have this uh, slightly opened mouth where you can see the teeth, but the teeth are closed. A little bit more like he's sharing a joke with you. I tend to like to go with the open mouth uh, version of these heads. I feel like that's the most expressive and you get the most bang for your buck when it comes to the plunderling personality. And you may have noticed right in the top of the head here, here, there are magnets in the tops of their heads. And that is a little trick that Lone Coconut uses to affix, affix the various accessories to their heads. For example, here we have uh, Abyss with his, you know, cool little Viking hat. And you can see the, the magnet there. And the hat is held in place because of the magnet. With the magnet system, which is a very cool feature. It was a different take, Chase. Thanks. <laughs> But yeah, so the magnet feature is cool. One thing that I have not totally figured out yet is the other accessory that I thought was a helmet or a hat. This guy uh, actually doesn't fit on his head or I don't see how it does. So I don't, actually I don't think this is a hat or a helmet. And it doesn't appear to have a magnet, so... Uh, so no, I don't think this is a hat. Maybe it's a basket? And also, as I noted before, Abyss does come with a change of hands here. As you can see, more uh, gripping hands so that he can hold... So that he can hold his little staff-type weapon here. Again, it's like a... I call it like a pitchfork type thing, but it's got like a staff here and little wraps, a little wrap detail in the middle. And at the end is what looks sort of like an anchor done in a clear plastic, which looks very cool. Uh, very much fitting with the underwater seafaring uh, theme we got going on here. All right, so I don't know if you heard that before, but Chase referred to him as a hydromancer, which I don't even know what that is, but that sounds very cool. Maybe he is. Maybe he's Abyss the Hydromancer. And these are all his various things. His various things to do his hydromancing. Like I said before, you can get all kinds of personality from these guys. They can look all the way around, tilt for days so that you can get those cool little, you know, expressions from them. Bend at the elbow, all the way around at the shoulder. The flat hands have hinges that go up and down. Legs go all the way out to there. Knees do bend, uh, double jointed knees there. So the legs can go all the way back. The feet kind of fit in a, via a peg that's towards the front of the foot. That means they can swivel all the way around. Which gives them plenty of range to do, you know, a significant amount of balancing at least. In the end, this guy is just ridiculously fun. I love the purple translucent theme we got going on here. Uh, like Vicky Vale, I also love purple. Um, he fits in in a number of different lines, can add some fun and interest to a, a Mythic Legions display. Uh, maybe a golden axe display, uh, just a bunch of different things. And he's super, super, super fun. Uh, you know, he's just a, he's just a plunder lang doing plunder lang things. And here is Abyss with a few other entries from the plunder lang collection so far. Uh, we've got Abyss in the middle flanked by Nomads, Tough and Goyle on his left. On his right, we have one of my new favorites here, Cheddar, uh, who I also picked up at ToyCon, New Jersey. Uh, Ricky from Lone Coconut was cool enough to 
you know, just hook me up with this guy and be like, yo, do you want cheddar? And I was like, yeah, I want cheddar. Uh, that's my fridge door. Um, cheddar comes with a mohawk, also with the magnet feature. So he's awesome. But in a group, these guys just look super fun. They're up to tons of mischief right here. Uh, and next up, we've got Abyss with some of his uh, translucent plunderlings, uh, uh, brothers and sisters here. Again, I, I guess this is sort of like the the drench line is the translucent plunderlings who, who dwell in the water. We have uh, Drench Coral, Drench Maru, Drench Bubbler, who was my first ever uh, plunderling. Uh, still haven't taken these two guys out of the box yet. I will do that soon, but the translucent plunderlings are far and away my favorites. They're just super cool looking. I've always loved that semi-clear plastic for my action figures. All right, next up, I thought it might be cool to have Abyss hanging out with some other figures who also dwell in the oceans and the seas, as it were, or are somehow water-related. Also, to give you a sense of some scale here, if you're not familiar with the Plunderling scale. And we've got various deep sixes from the vintage G.I. Joe Real American Hero line, including my childhood deep six version one who is all messed up, and my childhood version 2 Deep Six, who was kind of messed up, uh, another version 1 Deep Six I got at a show who looks a little bit better, the Super 7 Reaction Translucent Merman, the Mondo Giant Gorgeous Amazing Merman in the back, the Jada Toys Creature from the Black Lagoon in the back, and the Vintage uh, Surfer Mikey Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, figure right there in the middle and then two different wetsuits or at least I don't know one and a half wetsuits there is the half of the original wetsuit in the back there that's what I've got and then this version of wetsuit that I don't even I didn't even remember there was this version but I have him so there is Abyss hanging out with some other water dwellers some aqua some aqua guys here and last but certainly not least we have Plunderlings Drench Abyss with some action figures who are, you know, purple. Because purple, sure, why not? Uh, including the vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder, the vintage uh, Mattel Secret Wars Kang, the vintage Galoob Defenders of the Earth Phantom, the modern NECA Defenders of the Earth Phantom, and of course the Mythic Legion's Purplore. Because, you know, purple. Bang, so there you go. That's my review of the Lone Coconut Plunderlings Toy Con New Jersey exclusive Drench Abyss. Uh, if you couldn't tell already, I do love this figure. I love the purple. I love the translucent nature of it. Uh, I love the fact that I got it at Toy Con New Jersey, which is one of my favorite cons in the world. My hometown con. And the Plunderlings guys are super cool. Thank you so much, guys, for letting us do this review. Can't wait to say what's up to you at Legions Con. Can't wait to say what's up to all of you at Legions Con 2022. I hope to see as many of you as possible because I will be there. Um this weekend at Legions Con 2022. For now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. Please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you know when I do have a new video coming out. And as always, don't forget the number one rule. Be cool. Later. <laughs>